before the sun rose, 35,000 people gathered in the nation's capital to participate in the 29th annual Army 10 Mile. And with a blast of the Honor Guard's cannon, they took off. For the National Guard, we had 2,025 runners registered under the National Guard uh, service line. So that was the most for us. Uh, last year we had 1,500, so that was a big increase for us this year. We had uh, four teams, uh, two competitive teams, one male, one female, and both of our teams came in second, which is awesome, and uh, two fun teams. But for the National Guard, it was a particularly special day at the event. The first Army National Guard Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major retired, Al Hunt, and I'm the 10th, and this is my first year in the job. He asked me about eight months ago if I would run with him. I said, absolutely. And then uh, about a, a week ago, I found out that today is his 80th birthday as well. And he did it being legally blind and hearing impaired. I ran 10 miles and I finished. <laughs> when you're hearing impaired or visual impaired, you don't ever let that stop you. You can overcome, and I'll tell you, the people that really inspired me were the wounded warriors. I mean, they're coming back with limbs missing and all different kinds of things, and it's just a regeneration of you can do anything. That's what all you got to do is just step out and do it. And you see all these people around you that they're doing things with no limbs and they're accomplishing something, so I figured I might be blind, I might be deaf, but I'm going to do it. 